Ariel Helwani post-fight at UFC 158 alongside Mike Ricci, who just defeated Colin Fletcher tonight. And Mike, congratulations on your first UFC win in your hometown of Montreal. How does it feel afterwards? Uh, unbelievable. I, I can't explain this feeling. This is my first UFC win. My first win at lightweight for the UFC. My first win for the UFC here in Montreal. So, uh, uh, you know, it's, it's unreal. Unreal feeling. You came out to Phil Collins. I've been waiting for this moment for all my life. What were you trying to say there? Yeah, that's that's pretty much what I was I was saying. You know, this has been six years, a six-year road for, you know, for me to be standing in that octagon. Six years, hard years. I sweat and bled for. You know, and uh, I was happy. I was happy I had this moment here tonight. You know, and everyone who came and spent their hard-earned money on, on tickets, you know, to support me. I'm happy I got to share that moment with everyone. So this is for for them and the city. Was that a real sword that you came out with? Yeah, I had to tell uh, I had to tell staff it was fake, so they'd let me get in. But uh, yeah, it's a real sword. It is. Wait, so they asked you, and if it was real, they weren't going to let you yeah. use it. Yeah, they said, "Is that real?" And I was like, "No, nah, it's fake. It's just a prop." And they're like, "Okay, go go for it." <laughs> if, they would, yes, if they would have took it from me, would have it would have messed with me for sure. So what did it mean to you? Uh, you know, I, I love traditional martial arts. You know, growing up, I was in Taekwondo and karate, and for me, it's like a symbol. It's just it's something that I'm obviously not going to use in the fight, but. You know, when I pack it up and I get it ready to go to the fight, it's something that symbolizes, you know, it's fight time. And when I take it out, it, it lets me know that it's time to, to do this for real. You know, he's somewhat of an unorthodox fighter, right? You know, kind of lanky, the look, everything about him is unorthodox, right? What do you think about him and what you did against him in the cage? You know, he's the kind of guy that, that everybody hates to fight, you know. He's, he's long, he's lanky, he's, like you said, unorthodox. His, his timing is... Is, is always off. He's off rhythm, you know. Uh, strikes coming from everywhere, spinning back fist, elbows, kicks. I was, I was ducking and weaving, and things were coming from everywhere, uh, and durable to top it off. So, uh, he's the kind of guy, you know, that nobody likes to fight. But uh, that's why it took me a while to read him. But uh, once I did, you know, thanks to you know Zahabi MMA and TriStar, we have so many guys come in. I see so many different looks, so I was able to adjust, you know, on the fly. Okay. Now here's a big question: Where is the the bag of McDonald's? It's waiting for me. It's 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 up in the bleachers. It's in the bleachers. Well, you have well, to go I, get it? I, I, yeah, I have to go get it. But I, I made the phone call, you know, right as I got out. It's oh, like, really? well, sorry, I didn't have to make the phone call. But I was, I told them, as soon as I'm done, leave the arena, go get it. I'll meet you, you know? So it is here. It, it you should scarf be, it down. It should be here, and I will, I will eat it, yes. You are enjoy it. Are you going to join? I don't know. I'm, am I invited? A hundred percent. I told you I was going to show you how to eat it. Pro and we're going to film. This was kind of me and Rory are going to go to McDonald's, <laughs> and uh, we'll film it. We'll film it. We'll have a burger off. Who could eat the three burgers the fastest? And here's the, the biggest question. Who, who will be the best dressed of the three of us? Damn, Rory's sharp tonight. Yeah, he's but, looking good, yeah. But uh, I got this new sponsor called Circle of Gentlemen. Unreal, unreal, and uh, they, they hooked me up yesterday, so uh, my outfit is it's on point. Well, you deserve it. Thank you. Enjoy the post-fight celebration. Enjoy the win. Looking well, forward to the next. Dressed. I mean, look at look at the shoes. Can you guys get a shot of that? That's. What something. do you think, as a as as the fashion aficionado of the UFC? What do you think? That's trying too hard, man. Too hard. <laughs> All right. I'm joking. You know what? I'm a, I'm a big fan of shoes. You know, my Wheezy's my favorite rapper, so nothing's too much for me. You know, I think it's great, man. All right. Hopefully, he's feeling better. Um. Who, Wheezy? Yeah. Oh, he's sick? He got sick, yeah. I didn't know that. I was Wheezy is Lil Wayne, right? Yes, 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 yes. He had a seizure yesterday. No way. Oh, I was cutting weight, yeah. so I didn't. You were preoccupied. Uh, a little, yeah. I apologize to all the Wheezy fans out there. <laughs> Mike, thank you very much and congratulations. Thank you, Ariel.